sporadic clashes between two neighborhoods in Lebanon's second largest city, Tripoli, have reminded Lebanese of the brutal civil war, which tore their country along sectarian lines. Recent gun battles killed 25 people in Tripoli and wounded more than 60. The violence spread to Beirut, where two people were killed. Many Lebanese Sunni Muslims sympathize with the Sunni-led uprising in Syria. Shiite and Alawite Lebanese tend to support the Syrian government, which is dominated by the same communities, which are minorities in Syria. Lebanese Sunnis protest against what they say is the Lebanese government's support for the Syrian government and kidnappings and killings of Lebanese by Syrian forces in cross-border raids. Activist Hussein Ali. There have always been problems between Shiites, Alawites and Sunnis. But there are people from outside trying to make trouble. This Alawite community bears the scars. Local leader Ali Fouda says some Sunnis are using the Syrian conflict to destabilize northern Lebanon. Some people in Lebanon consider what's happening in Syria to be their battle. We wonder why they are interfering in Syria's affairs. The Syrian rebels are reportedly receiving arms from supporters in Lebanon and other Arab countries. The Syrian government, too, is receiving arms from its allies, Iran and Russia, through the Lebanese militant faction Hezbollah. The head of Human Rights Watch here, Nadim Houdi, says the Lebanese government is trying to stop the arms trafficking and has an official policy of neutrality. But frankly, it's a fig leaf because the Lebanese state or government is not unitary. And underneath that sort of statement, you've got different big Lebanese political groups on either side, uh, not neutral at all. Northern Lebanon is a poor region with a history of smuggling. Houdi says Sunnis feel marginalized socially and economically. There is now a, a mixing of all these factors and a radicalization of this community that is uh, hearing horrible stories of what's happening in Syria and sometimes hear parts of the Syri Lebanese government you know, supporting the Syrian government. So yes, the But most analysts say Lebanese leaders remember their civil war and respond quickly to turmoil related to Syria's conflict. The government sent military reinforcements to Tripoli following the recent clashes. Scott Bob, VOA News, Tripoli, Northern Lebanon.